Matt is an accomplished endurance athlete. Uh, he's ran in the Boston Marathon. He's ran some ultra marathons um, and has a real, I think, practical approach to running that I think you'll enjoy. Um, so in addition to his running advice and, the, and that side of his life, he's also found that his vegetarian diet has been one of the keys to his, his great performance. And I thought that was very interesting. And he shares a lot of great insights on nutrition in this interview as well. And at the uh, towards the end of the interview, we're going to touch on some other aspects relationally and how he's trained with his wife and how that's actually improved their marriage and also improved their athletic performance. So I think you're going to get a lot out of this interview. And let's get into it right now. Right, welcome once again. This is Dustin Reekman, I'm here with Matt Frazier. He's the creator of NoMeatAthlete.com. He's an accomplished endurance athlete. Um, he also has some great experiences, obviously, on the vegetarianism issue, and he has some, some good experiences to share in training with his wife. So I think with that, we're going to jump right in. Uh, Matt, I guess to get started, for people who aren't familiar with you, if you could just give us a, a short spiel on sort of who you are and how you became the No Meat Athlete. Sure, no problem. Um... So I was uh, big into fitness in college, big weightlifter and all, all that kind of stuff. And uh, one day, my friends and I decided we were going to just run a marathon, kind of out of the blue. We said, this will be the way we can, we're going to lose fat now, is, is go, just go sign up for a marathon and run it. So it ended up being a terrible idea because we, we really had no idea what we were doing. All of us got hurt in the process, and uh, it just wasn't a great experience. And I probably would have never run another one except that I met my wife a year later, and she at the time happened to be training for her first marathon. And she also worked at a running store and just knew a whole lot more about it than I did, like with how to train properly. So she kind of got me back into it. And then um, I, I did two or three marathons after that. And I guess I'd actually run about five different marathons in the process of trying to qualify for the Boston Marathon. That was my, my big goal. And it takes you have to run a three-hour and ten-minute marathon okay. for, uh, for the youngest male age group. So that was my big goal, and I couldn't do it. I kind of just plateaued, so I was just trying all these different diets and things like that, and just trying to figure out what would work. And finally, I just stumbled upon a vegetarian diet. I decided to give that a try, and uh, it, for me, it was just the perfect thing, and uh, I qualified for Boston six months after that. Just noticed a dramatic change in, in my running, and uh, within the year after that, I ran four ultra marathons and another marathon, um, and just another marathon distance marathon, and... Uh, it just kind of took off from there. So it just, that was the change that really worked for me. And then I decided to start my site, No Meat Athlete, shortly after I went vegetarian because it just kind of seemed like an interesting thing to me that, that you could be an endurance runner and be a vegetarian. Um, even, I didn't know at the time that it was going to improve my performance that much. Yeah. I thought I thought maybe there are plenty of people who might be vegetarian for ethical reasons and just wanted to know the, the best way to, to make it work with endurance training. But it turned out um, that it just worked so well for me that it, it's kind of become something that I, I now recommend to a lot of people. Yeah, that's really fascinating. I, I would have assumed your backstory was sort of like you mentioned, the ethical ideas and you're sort of able to run a marathon you know, in spite of being a vegetarian. But it's, it's really cool to hear that that change in your diet helped fuel you to a lot of success. Um, I, I, we'll, we'll get into the details a little later on exactly, you know, what, what's an ultra marathon and, uh, why it is that the vegetarian diet, uh, improved your performance so much. I think to start off and kind of ease into things because probably most of our listeners, um, maybe have that distant goal of a, a marathon or a half marathon. Um, but most of them are probably novices and, and pretty early on if they're runners at all. And I'm sure you encounter a lot of that, especially having a, a pretty popular blog on running. Um, so I guess to start off, what's your top advice for those that are just looking to get started with running so they don't make some of those same mistakes that you and your friends made uh, back right. in college? Right. I guess the, the very first piece of advice would be just try really hard to enjoy it. Like Because so many people tell me that they kind of want to become runners, but they just hate running. So the thing, you have to learn to enjoy it. And the way that I started to enjoy it once I started slowing down. Because everyone kind of, I guess it's from like middle school gym class where they say you have to run a mile and do it as fast as you can. Yeah. Um, you don't, you can, you can run without running as fast as you can. You, you can go out for a three mile run on a given day, get a good workout in. Even though on that same day, you could have not stopped at three miles, you could have run 10 miles that day if you wanted. And, and you, you still can get a run in at, at a pace that's much slower than you could have run on that day. And, uh, and just enjoy it. So, I mean, go out there, enjoy it. You don't have to get all these fancy shoes or fancy equipment, you know, and that's just, that's part of what makes running so great as, I mean, I think as compared to like cycling where you have to have all this stuff to, to spend two grand to even be able to start it. Absolutely. Yeah. With, 
yeah, with running, I mean, you can, they're kind of showing now that, that running barefoot can be better than running in, in shoes. So, I mean, it just goes to show you, it's not about the equipment at all. And I don't recommend for a brand new runner to start running barefoot. Sure. <laughs> uh, you know, make no mistake there. But you just don't need that much to get into it. It's fun. You can go outside. You can enjoy it. So that would be the first big piece of advice. Get yourself to enjoy it. Run in a way that, that is fun for you.